Oh, it's you, cutie. To what do I owe the honor of your visit? Are you here to peruse the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone? <laughs> as considerate as ever, I see. Alas, what rotten luck. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. Wait, you're actually busy? With work? That's not a sight you see every day. <laughs> you're right. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. I haven't done this much thinking for a long time. It's rather exhausting. <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? What do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? It's not polite to pawn off your work on other people, you know. Is that a no, then? It will be quite the rare opportunity to work together, and you would, of course, be generously rewarded. But if you don't want to... As you probably know, the Knights of Favonius have long conducted research on alchemy. But most of that research has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. Which means that up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. We've put a lot of mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. Noting this disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. As it happens, I already have some experience with this work. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Potioneering was also one of my academic specializations back in the day, so Jean thought I was the best person for the job. But to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use, and the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Cause, uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over here. <laughs> no worries. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. Alchemical practices are becoming more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. But if we want to conduct research and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. So, I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. That way, we could continue to handle the alchemy side of things while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Oh, it's like killing two pigeons with one stone! Smart idea, Lisa! Well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the most accomplished among our ranks, the Traveler. When I was at the Academia, students would often help out with each other's research projects. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. Yeah, you make it sound nice and all, but Paimon still thinks you're just looking for a way to pawn off your work. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. <sighs> this is the shop. Wow, looks like you've made a lot of preparations already. Did you do this all by yourself? <laughs> it was a group effort. A whole bunch of knights helped out. Jean secured the initial funds to open the shop. Albedo and Sucrose provided the ingredients and equipment needed to brew the potions. And the logistics company is handling the provision of all future supplies. 
Now with your help, it's like an additional weight has been lifted off my shoulders. The Knights have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. So, we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparations. Okay, let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try your hand at brewing a potion? All you need to do is add the ingredients into the cauldron, follow the steps provided, and you're good to go. Looks like you finished your potion. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. Looks like we're done with all the prep work. Why don't we take a short break over there while we wait for customers to arrive? Oh, seems like everything is going well. You've already sold your first batch of potions. Not a bad start at all. As for what potions you should brew next, we'll need to consult the news from the market. That means staying up to date on the latest news and trends to try and anticipate people's needs. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. Uh, that sounds kind of hard. <laughs> Don't worry. I already took it upon myself to compile all the latest news on the market for you. What do you think? Have any ideas on the kinds of potions you should sell next? Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs then. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. Using different herbs in the brewing process will, in turn, alter the effects of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. All right, cutie, why don't you get started? Seems like you've gotten the hang of the cultivation side of things. Ah, I should probably mention, a knight from the logistics company has arrived. She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. And after that, it'll be your time to shine. Yeah, shouldn't it be our time to shine? You know, the three of us? What about your role in all this? My role? <laughs> Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. Okay, I'll be rooting for you. Good luck. Ah, Paimon knew this would happen. Greetings, honorary knight. Greetings, Paimon. My name is Freda. I'm a knight from the logistics company. It's such an honor to meet the famous traveler and his loyal attendant. Wow, Paimon's fame is really spreading across the land! <laughs> um, one small correction, though. Paimon's his companion, not his attendant. <sighs> My apologies. I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. It's just like something out of a novel. You're practically legends at this point. I'm, I'm a bit jealous, actually. I'd love to wander the land in search of adventure like one of those knights you read about in stories. Seems like a really fun life. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping at least. Anyway. We've got some prep work to wrap up, right? My orders from the Acting Grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. If there's anything you need, just let me know. You're in luck! I just got a new batch of provisions. Please, take a look and see if anything catches your eye. What's up? It's been a while. Whoa, Beto and you are! Wait, you two know each other? <laughs> well, we haven't known each other long, but we hit it off right away. Guess it was meant to be. I met Captain Beto at Dornman Port. She was here in Mondstadt to buy some supplies, and I offered to accompany her around the area. Wow. You were taking the initiative and making friends? Did Paimon hear that right? 
Given that the two of us just met, I wouldn't go so far as to call us friends just yet. I was just being hospitable, as is expected of a knight. Huh? Oh, I thought we were getting along pretty well. You're telling me you were just being polite? Oh, no, I, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just thought that after my blunder earlier, you probably wouldn't want to be my friend. Come on, it was just a little misunderstanding, that's all. You're still beating yourself up about that? Honestly, I'd forgotten all about it. Misunderstanding? What happened? Well, a few days ago, after docking at Dornman Port, I thought I'd treat the crew to some time at the tavern to blow off some steam. While we were there, an argument broke out between a couple of drunk guys. Things looked like they were about to get physical, so I intervened to try and break it up. I tried talking to them, but they were in the mood for a fight, and my words fell on deaf ears. So I had to resort to, uh, a more hands-on way of getting them to calm down. Eula was patrolling the area while all this was going down, and when she walked in, oh, it wasn't a pretty sight. I should probably take it from here. Recently, we've intercepted a string of attempts to smuggle goods through Dornman Port, so we decided to step up our patrols in the area. On my rounds that day, I noticed a group of people I'd never seen before, and they were sailors. My suspicions were raised, so I asked their captain to show a valid entry permit for the port. Captain Beto said she didn't have the entry permit on her person and told me to check with the port authorities myself. I insisted that she should accompany me there and, well, you can see how things could get heated in a situation like that. Hey, you were, you were just doing your duty. It was my fault, really. I should have watched my tone, but I'd had a few too many and... Anyway, it all worked out in the end. I took Eula back to my ship, showed her my documents, and that was that. Misunderstanding resolved. I felt bad, though, so I told her I'd treat her to a drink when we got back to the tavern. Once we got to talking, we really hit it off. We sat there chatting until the tavern was about to close. Captain Beto mentioned that she wanted to have a look around the city the next day. I was also planning to head back to headquarters to submit some paperwork, so we decided to go together. Ah, I meant to say earlier, drop the captain and just call me Beto. There's no need for formalities between friends. Oh, yes, of course. <clears throat> Pardon me for being so formal. Anyway, as for why we're here, I heard about your shop when I got back to headquarters, and after discussing it with Beto, we decided to stop by and say hello. Oh, that's right. Plus, I'm curious to see what the deal is with these Mondstadt potions you've been brewing up. Eh, could do. Although, I don't have any health issues, and my ship's already stocked with everything I could need out on the ocean. <sighs> Let me think. Oh, do you have a potion that helps with getting to sleep? Are you having trouble sleeping, Beto? No, not me. The minute my head hits the pillow, it's lights out till the next morning. It's just that, uh, I have this friend. She doesn't lack for anything, and she eats right and drinks right, but she just doesn't sleep well. I don't know if it's a case of affluenza, or if she just has too many things on her mind. Wait, this friend you're talking about, you must mean... Yep. She's no stranger to rare and precious treasures, but... I'd wager that to her, the chance to relax and get a good night's sleep is rarer than any treasure in her collection. All right, we'll get started on that order for you right away! Great, thanks for the help. What about you, Eula? Is there something we can make for you? Uh hmm. I don't want to put too much on your plate. It wouldn't be fair to ask you to make so many potions at once. Beto came all this way. Her order should take priority. Any potion requests I have on my end, I'll just submit to Lisa later. The same goes for anything the Reconnaissance Company needs as well. Aw, you're so considerate of other people. Oh, uh, you think so? The Knights have always looked after me so well. Maybe it's rubbed off on me a little, or something. <clears throat> but I still have a lot to learn. The next time things get heated, I should approach the situation in a more level-headed way. 
Compared to when we first met, you're practically picking up friends left and right. It's just like Tongue Deaf Bard once said, the winds always change their course. Thanks, you two. Your kindness really means a lot. How's the potion making going? Hope you didn't run into too much trouble. Perfect. Looks like my gift is all set. Is it time for your return journey then? If you're heading back to Dornman Port, I'd be happy to accompany you. Yeah, I think I've gotten my fill of sightseeing, so it's probably time I headed back. Don't want to keep my crew waiting. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Oh, and good luck with your business. On behalf of the Reconnaissance Company, I'd like to express my gratitude to you as well. at the sales data, and it seems like you two have quite the talent for business. The potions seem to be flying off the shelves. Oh, Lisa! Perfect timing. We were just talking about how we could use some help around the shop. Oh, are the orders piling up already? Having trouble keeping up? Yep, we're officially swamped. Paimon never thought we'd get this many customers. Well, I can't say I'm surprised by the success. I was actually anticipating this kind of response. While you two were busy with the shop, I was talking with Freda about some possible ways to make the business more efficient. After observing your work, I made note of several improvements we can make to the brewing, cultivation, and sales aspects of the business. Wait, so you've been doing things behind the scenes this whole time? Hyman kind of thought you were just slacking off. <laughs> Hey now, I'm actually pretty reliable when it counts. So how are we supposed to put those improvements in action? Well, I discussed things over with Freda, and the two of us came up with a plan. I'll let her give you the details, though. Why don't you go and find her? Traveler! Paimon, hello! Is there something I can help you with? Well, we've been a bit swamped lately, so Lisa recommended we find some ways to increase our efficiency. Uh, yes, I'd discuss that with her as well. Currently, there are three areas you can improve. Brewing, cultivation, and sales. Increasing your efficiency in these areas will make it much easier to run your business. Wow, that sounds just like what we need! Let's give it a try, Traveler! Looks like... All the preparations needed for this upgrade have been made. Please, try it out. Greetings, Traveler Paimon and Lisa. Sucrose! It's been a while since the last time we saw you! On the way here, I overheard quite a few people talking about alchemical potions. At first, I was worried something might have gone wrong with the herbs, but judging by the way people were talking, it seems like they were pretty pleased with the results. <laughs> Sucrose, your bioalchemical expertise was exactly what we needed for potion making. Yeah, we've been able to make potions with all sorts of different effects! You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time? I guess that's expected for someone of your talent, Traveler. I wouldn't be surprised if he became a potion master one day. Still, if you manage to master potion making in such a short amount of time, we should be able to start teaching the public about it as well. Wait, was that also a part of Jean's plan? Yep. It's something she and Mr. Albedo talked about. As I understand it, 
The goal was not just to create and sell potions, but also to teach the principles and practices of alchemy to the people. Thanks to your shop, the public's understanding of alchemical potions has increased quite a bit. Perhaps, one day, they'll even be able to make simple potions themselves. Hmm. Without the proper training, though, those potions could be dangerous to use. You're right. With Lisa there to mentor you, Traveler, we could rest assured that nothing would go wrong during the potion-making process. However, when it comes to the general public, we have to think of a way to ensure that any resulting potions would be safe to use. So, Mr. Albedo is planning to establish a set of criteria to evaluate various levels of potion-making ability. People will have to pass the exam that corresponds to their level of proficiency before being allowed to brew their own potions. Let me guess. You would like us to also take part in this exam? Yes. Although it would probably be more accurate to say that we would like you to help us finalize the contents of the exam. In order to ensure a proper level of difficulty, we need to first collect the relevant data. That's where our mock exam comes in. If you could take it, Traveler, your results would serve as a very important reference for us. You will, of course, be compensated for your efforts. <laughs> what a great idea! I must admit, I'm very interested to see how much my cutie's alchemy skills have improved. <laughs> Confidence is a good look on you, cutie. Wonderful! Then, let me explain a little bit about how the exam works. The exam has four levels. Beginner, Intermediate, Advanced, and Expert. To pass, all you need to do is brew a potion within the time limit that satisfies the main objective. Satisfying additional objectives will earn you extra rewards. Okay, all of this is starting to sound pretty official. Paimon's nervous all of a sudden. Just do what you normally do and you should be fine. If you don't pass the first time around, you can always retake the exam. So, no need to put too much pressure on yourselves. Oh, retakes are allowed! Whew, that's a relief. Yep. Just let me know when you're ready. Hmm. Your movements are quite practiced. And your potion meets the requirements as well. Congratulations on passing the beginner exam. Hmm, that was a piece of cake! Wow. I really thought it would be more difficult for someone so new to potion making. All right. I believe I've collected all the necessary feedback. Looks like we'll have to make some adjustments to the level of difficulty for the actual exam. I'm gonna head back to the lab now. See you later, Traveler and Paimon. Hmm, Traveler? Paimon? <laughs> Looks like you're running a business. Oh, hey, Diona! And Tone Deaf Bard. What brings you to the shop? I could smell what you were brewing from all the way across Cider Lake. Bards have an extremely keen sense of smell, you know. Again with the nonsense! Don't listen to him. We were actually in the middle of looking for some cocktail ingredients. Margaret is getting ready to run a new promotion at the Cocktail, so she asked me to come up with some new drink ideas. The bard over here is performing at the event. When he saw me getting ready to leave, he insisted on tagging along to help. Well, what better way to be the first to try your new concoction than by helping you collect ingredients? Well, that explains your enthusiasm then. You're only that generous when alcohol is involved. Anyway, I was having some trouble coming up with new ideas for ingredients to use. I've already experimented with just about every ingredient you can find around Mondstadt. Even the weirdest ones. The bar saw me struggling and told me he had an idea. So we split up for a while. I didn't get my hopes up. But sure enough, he came back a little while later with a rare ingredient I'd never used before. Ooh, what is it? Some sort of secret? Come on, bring it out so we can see. <laughs> it's a bird feather I found on a ruin in Dragonspine. It was once buried in the snow, and is still cold to the touch even now. 
I'm sure it could be used to produce a drink with an entirely new sort of mouthfeel. Whoa. Well, if anyone can find something like that, Paimon supposes it'd be you. Unfortunately, this ingredient is not easy to find. We'll probably use up the measly amount we've discovered with just the recipe testing alone. Don't worry about the ingredients, Diona. I'll figure something else out. You should head back so you can get a head start on working that mixology magic of yours. Uh-huh, because the sooner I get started, the sooner you get to take advantage of the fruits of my labor. <laughs> Isn't that right? Uh, well, just think of it as a way to pay me in advance for all my hard work. <laughs> that still doesn't solve our problem, though. Traveler, Paimon, do you have any ideas for a new drink? Huh? Infuse drinks with different effects? But doesn't that bring us back to the ingredient problem all over again? Oh, Paimon gets what he's saying! Ahem. You're looking at one of the most popular duos on the Mondstadt alchemy scene right now. Our potions are one of the hottest commodities in Tibet! Ugh, but what do potions have to do with drinks? You can add them as an ingredient, of course! Potions can add all sorts of different effects! For example, with a little alchemy on your side, you could even make a drink that can heal a broken heart. Wow! I never knew potions could do something like that! Hmm, I see. How about a potion that makes people never want to drink alcohol again? Could you make something like that? Oh, that's right. Even if we could make one that discourages people from drinking, it would only last for a little bit before wearing off. Ugh, what a shame. And here I thought I'd finally be able to dismantle the entire Mondstadt wine industry in one fell swoop. It's okay. We'll try to see if we can find some other ways to help. Actually, I've always been curious, Diona. Is there a particular reason you don't like alcohol? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Ever been around a drunk person before? Let me tell you, it's not a pleasant experience. Ah, so your gripe isn't really with alcohol itself, but the fact that it makes people drunk. Hmm, this may sound a little weird, but I wonder if it's possible to use this mysterious alchemy craft of yours to make a drink that prevents people from getting intoxicated. So you mean a potion that can keep someone sober and awake? Huh, sounds like something we could do. What do you say, Traveler? Perfect! <laughs> I can just see it now. The more alcohol those drunkards consume, the more sober they'll become. They'll finally have to say bye bye to their days of drunken depravity. It's decided then. Please make me a potion that can keep people sober. I gotta say, I'm starting to get really curious about what that drink's going to taste like. Hmm, if alchemy has the power to transform matter, I wonder if it could also be used to turn water into wine? Wouldn't it be amazing if all the water in Cider Lake turned into actual cider? <laughs> in that case, at least, no matter how short a mora I am, I'd never be short on liquor. <laughs> A fine alternative. <laughs> Who would I be to refuse such a generous invitation? We'll go as soon as your work is finished. How does that sound? You really haven't changed at all. Just the mention of alcohol practically has you chomping at the bit. Well, it's not every day I get the chance to reunite with such dear friends. What's a reunion without a generous serving of wine? So, how's the potion coming? Finished yet? Wow, I can't believe I'm holding the key to shaking up Mondstadt's entire wine industry in my own two hands! Wowza! Thank you so much. Oh, I'm gonna head back and start developing my new drinks right away! Wait, don't leave without me! I thought you were gonna let me be the taste tester! 
Of course. <laughs> Operation Eliminate Drunkards has just begun, and you, my friend, are my first test subject. <laughs> and just like that, another problem solved. Looks like you've done it again, Traveler and Paimon. Alcohol that doesn't make you drunk. Ooh, if I'm able to develop something like that, I guess there really is a type of alcohol that I can get behind. Traveler, Paimon, how has the potion making been going lately? Sucrose, you're back! I should have known. You really do have a talent for alchemy. I'm sure this exam will also be a walk in the park for you. Well, ready to begin? Let me see... Yep, looks like your potion meets the requirements. You've passed once again! <laughs> We're getting pretty good at this! I'm so glad I asked for your help. Please, take this for your trouble. Hello, everyone. Whoa, is that Master D Luke? Oh, D Luke, what's someone as busy as you doing in this neck of the woods? Elzer told me the Knights launched a new commercial endeavor that turned out to be quite the hit. I think he was a bit surprised by the level of success, so he told me to come check it out. But, seeing as you two are the ones in charge, I'm really not surprised at all. The Knights definitely chose the most reliable people for the job. Uh, Elzer is the manager of Don Winery, right? Huh, Paimon thought he didn't get out much. Wonder how he heard about our shop. Wait, are we that famous already? <laughs> no need to sound so surprised. The winery keeps us all very busy. Elzer only takes the time to brief me with this sort of intel if he thinks we are faced with a real threat. In such a short amount of time, you've been able to establish complete production and supply lines, and even receive orders from all around Tevat. If you were in the wine business, you'd already be one of our biggest rivals. What? what? Threat? Rival? Oh, you sure seem eager, cutie. Looks like you really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the number one wine merchant in all of Mondstadt. Are you just itching to see whose business prowess would come out on top? Hmm, a competition with the Traveler. That's not a bad suggestion. You're extremely knowledgeable and well-traveled. If we were to become competitors, I'm sure you'd throw many a challenge my way. Probably even some I've never faced before. But I was really just using the wine industry as an example to emphasize your success. Our two industries aren't exactly fighting for the same market space. Actually, the success of your potion shop is good for the winery's business. Good for your business? Paimon's lost! You were just talking about how the two industries were separate and now they're suddenly connected? <laughs> it's a bit convoluted. Alcohol is a commodity that most people consume in their free time. In order to have free time, though, you have to get off work early. For the alcohol industry to thrive, consumers need to have both the time and the money to spend. That's exactly right. Your potions allow people to work more efficiently. As they get more popular, people will be able to complete their work faster. The more free time people have, the bigger the market there is for a commodity like mine. Oh, that makes sense! It's hard to be in the mood to go out and enjoy life if you're super busy all the time. Paimon never thought about it that way before. There sure are a lot of layers to running a business. Guess this means we're in the more making business together then. Hey, why don't you try out one of our potions? Hmm. I do have quite the interest in the effects of alchemical potions. Well, since you offered, please make a potion that can reduce the anxieties of the user while also improving their attention to detail. Reduce anxiety while also improving the user's attention to detail? That 
almost sounds a little contradictory to me. I must admit to being curious. If my cuties do manage to make this potion for you, D. Luke, how exactly do you intend to use it? Well, I mentioned before that people with ample free time are an important consumer base for my industry. But actually, the same is true for people who are incredibly busy and overwhelmed with work. After a period of high stress, like a busy workday, it can take a while for people to fully decompress. It's also common for that type of stress to leave people so exhausted that all they can do is spend the rest of the day in a daze. That level of stress and exhaustion makes it hard for people to derive pleasure from things they usually enjoy, like relishing the flavor of their favorite food and drink. <sighs> you can say that again. Paimon's definitely been there before. Sometimes, after a really long day, Paimon will be so tired, but she just can't relax. Not even her favorite snacks would hit the spot like they usually do. Oh, my poor little cuties. Sounds like things can get quite tough out on the road. You know what? You just earn yourself some extra snacks at our upcoming tea party. Once this is all over, I'll personally see to it that you get the chance for a proper rest. So basically, you need us to make a potion that decreases tension but increases attention. So that people can enjoy the finer things in life no matter how busy or stressed they are. I uh, did Paimon get that right? Exactly. Wine is meant to be savored. Drinking it without being able to appreciate its subtle notes and characteristics is a loss not just for the winemaker, but for the consumer as well. If we can increase the alertness of those too exhausted to perceive the subtle notes, but decrease the restlessness of those too agitated to raise their glass, then we can be sure to reach a point of balance where all can enjoy their wine to the fullest extent. Well, it's definitely a unique request. Seems like this would be a tricky challenge for any potion maker. We should get to thinking then. First things first, let's figure out what ingredients to use. How's the potion coming? Have you finished? We're finished with the potion, Master D. Luke. Please give it a try. Oh, I thought you might need more time. But it looks like you've already found the solution. Nice job. Wow. The effect is even more apparent than I imagined. Your many talents just keep on surprising me. On behalf of Don Winery, I would like to make a bulk purchase order for this potion. Oh, and don't worry about the delivery side of things. Elzer will send someone to pick up the potions once they're ready. My plan is to enlist the help of artisans to infuse candles and fragrances with the effects of this potion. Those products will serve as complimentary gifts for customers to enjoy during wine tasting. So you plan to make alchemical potions part of the wine drinking experience itself. Interesting. And very much in keeping with the Dawn Winery's way of doing business. If our potion was enough to impress Master D. Luke, I'm unsure regular customers are going to be even more amazed. Well, there's still work to be done, so I should probably head out. It'll take some time before we know exactly what the commercial impact of this combination will be. In any case, it's been a pleasure working with you. Here's hoping our two businesses will have a long and successful partnership. I hope those orders will keep on rolling in, for both our sakes. Oh, and if you have some time, you should stop by Angel's Share to see your masterpiece in action. For sure! Paimon can't wait! We'll see you next time, Master D. Luke! Oh, a merchant is here. Uh, Paimon's not sure they're from Mondstadt, though. Let's go check it out! Hello there! The name's Atafe. I'm a traveling merchant from Sumeru. Great to meet you! Whoa, you've made quite the journey! Guess news of our humble shop has already spread to all four corners of Tibet! Paimon's 
practically a sales whiz. She can sell water to a fish. <laughs> <laughs> I have to agree. This venture of yours is becoming quite well known. In fact, many well-informed merchants have heard word of your potion selling endeavor. But most people are still not willing to take a risk on such a rare commodity. If you ask me though, when the opportunity knocks, you've got to be ready to answer. That's how you make the big Mora. Although the general public still doesn't know much about alchemical potions right now, with a little effort and marketing on your side, you can carve out a nice space in the market for yourself. Once that happens, the Mora will just keep on flowing. Once you've generated enough demand, you could even increase your prices tenfold. <laughs> with that kind of profit, you could even take the rest of the year off if you wanted. Tenfold? Are you serious? <laughs> as long as the demand is there, people will pay anything. You could say it's a sort of mutual agreement between consumer and supplier. With the way you talk, Paimon can't help but be reminded of a certain other more obsessed merchant. Wait, you did say you were from Sumeru. Maybe you know her. Ever met Dory? Wait, you mean Lord Songama Bay? One of the most famous merchants in all of Sumeru? That Dory? You know her? Wow, Lord Songama Bay is one of my biggest idols. Her business sense and dedication to making Mora has always been one of my greatest inspirations. I was even lucky enough to visit the palace of Alcazarzare once. It truly is a magnificent sight. One day, I hope to be just like her. Up to my ears and more Mora than I can count. <laughs> uh, looks like we lost her. Should Paimon snap her out of it? Or... <sighs> Thank you. That means a lot. Back to where we were then. I believe I was telling you how we can make some big Mora together. The idea is actually pretty simple. You produce the potions, provide me with a regular supply, and I'll help you sell them across to Vat. If that sounds good to you, then we should talk more in depth about what kinds of potions to sell this time around. According to my keen market sense, these are the kinds of potions that are currently in demand. Hi, you two. It's been a while, hasn't it? Oh, you're back! Wait, that must mean there's a new exam! Yep, it's time for the advanced exam. This one will be harder than previous exams, but I'm sure you'll do just fine. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. I actually had Mr. Albedo take a look at your previous potions. He was a bit amazed that someone so new to potion making could already produce such an impressive result. He even told me that, for someone of your talent, we could stand to set harder questions. Wow, uh, the recognition feels nice and all, but Paimon feels even more pressure now. If we don't pass this time, it'll be super embarrassing. Don't worry too much about that. Lots of things in life require a couple of tries before you get it right. When I first started working as Mr. Albedo's assistant, all sorts of unexpected things would go wrong during my experiments. For example, when I was studying the properties of mist flowers, I accidentally froze all the equipment in the lab. I basically turned them into ice sculptures. Our precision instruments were nearly ruined beyond repair. Another time, I had let a reagent boil for a little bit too long, and all the precious ingredients inside got charred to pieces. The smell was so bad, Several nights passing by thought the lab had caught fire. <sighs> Back then, I would get really hard on myself whenever things went wrong. But eventually I realized that, in order to make new discoveries, you have to accept the risk of failure. A fear of making mistakes will prevent you from truly going after what it is that you want. You're absolutely right! Hey, you're actually really good at motivating people! just my experience talking. I've spent a lot of time doing research in the lab, after all. Anyway, as long as you try, 
You'll learn something valuable from the experience. All right. Whenever you're ready, we can go ahead and proceed with the advanced exam. Wow! You even breezed through the advanced exam. Ever thought about helping out around the lab? Drop everything and pursue the path of an alchemy master? Huh. What do you say, Traveler? If we work together, I'm sure we can make something super amazing. By super amazing, do you mean you already have something in mind? Well, in the past, my research was mainly focused on the study of plants. But this experience has shown me that potions can have all kinds of effects on people as well. So, I started thinking, what if potions could have an even greater effect on people? Like, what if they could be used to help people unlock their hidden potential? A memory-enhancing potion, for example, could help people memorize a whole library's worth of knowledge in a single breath. Alternatively, a strength-enhancing potion could make it so that Paimon could take down an Abyss Mage all on her own. Whoa. Paimon didn't know you could make potions like that! Sounds awesome! Well... It's certainly theoretically possible. Alchemy is, in itself, a way to explore the unknown. It's a discipline with endless potential. In fact, current research has barely scratched the surface of what's possible with alchemy. Theory, though, is always easier than practice. And with alchemy, there are simply too many things that you have to take into consideration. Just off the top of my head, there's the theory of sublimation, the potion's mechanism of action, and the innate metabolism of the person consuming the potion. Uh... Hyman didn't quite catch all that. <sighs> My bad. We can talk about the details some other time. If you're interested, just stop by the lab. Sweet! Watch out, world! With a cool potion from Sucrose, Paimon will be able to become the strongest guide into Vat in no time! Well... I'll be off then. Only one more exam to go. I imagine you and I will both have some final preparations to make. Oh, so you're the ones behind the potion shop I've heard so much about. When it comes to fulfilling requests, I heard the customer's wish is practically your command. Huh? Goro? Where did you come from? And Kirara's here too! What are you guys doing in Mondstadt? <laughs> Comania Express operates all across Tavat, so I'm always on the road. I'm actually pretty familiar with Mondstadt from my trips here in the past. General Goro, on the other hand, seems to still be getting the lay of the land. He got lost not too far from here. <clears throat> well, I would normally be provided with ample intel before carrying out an operation in a foreign territory, but Watatsumi Island isn't exactly home to many people who've been to Mondstadt. I wasn't even able to obtain a map of the region. I've basically had to perform initial reconnaissance in the middle of a formal operation. Not exactly ideal conditions for an air-free mission. <laughs> Affirmative, General. Next time, I'll procure the most detailed map available and make sure you have it at your disposal from mission outset. Over and out. Uh, you can drop the formalities, Kirara. I don't expect you to report back to me like I'm your commanding officer. We hired you as a consultant. It wouldn't be fair to treat you like one of my soldiers. Hey now, it's not like this is some one-sided partnership. We agreed, right? In exchange for my services, you'll help promote our business to the people of Watatsumi Island. Your good word will be integral in helping Komania Express become people's first choice for all their delivery needs. Our future business is counting on you. Back to Paimon's question, though. You still haven't told us what you're doing in Mondstadt. You mentioned something about a mission? Ah, uh, yes. It's a funny story, actually. Recently, Watatsumi Island has been looking for ways to increase transportation efficiency. Basically, this means improving the operations of our cargo ships. So, we decided to send teams across to VAT to learn about the most advanced techniques different nations have to offer. We had just wrapped up our trip to Liyue when we heard word of your mysterious potion shop. 
So we decided to postpone our return journey for a bit and come check it out. Turns out it was the right choice. Well, Paimon's gotta say, you practically hit the jackpot by coming here. We've got stuff you can't find anywhere else. Oh, more customers from abroad. <laughs> My cuties sure are popular. You really do have friends all over Tavat. Hmm, looking at your two friends here, I can't help but be reminded of my dear little wolf cub. You know what? I should introduce you sometime. For some reason, I have a feeling the three of you would really hit it off. In fact, once you've wrapped up your potion purchasing, why don't you both join me and my cuties for afternoon tea? I'll even bring my student along. Afternoon tea? Sounds great! I could really use some refreshments. Long days of deliveries always leave me parched. Ugh. Thanks for the invitation. Uh, something tells me you're not going to take no for an answer. <laughs> Wait, why does this feel so familiar? Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, Traveler, care to make some introductions? G -g Guardian Mage? Wow, what an impressive title. Is it a position similar to that of a Guji? Wait, could it be that I'm in the presence of someone as high-ranking as Her Excellency, like Lady Sanganomiya herself? Honestly, Traveler, you're gonna give the guy a heart attack! Don't be nervous, Goro. That's just, uh, a nickname. Her real name is Lisa. She works as the librarian here in Mondstadt, and she's also the person in charge of our shop. Lisa, this is Goro. He's a super powerful general from Watatsumi Island. And this is Kirara. She's a super punctual delivery woman with Komania Express. Kirara. Hmm, the name sounds familiar. Ah, oh, the collection of books from Inazuma that I have in the library. You were the one who delivered them, yes? What a helpful little gem you are. <laughs> I'm glad our paths have crossed again, Miss Lisa. I hope you'll consider me for future delivery jobs as well. As for my cutie's other acquaintance, I believe I've read a few articles about you, General Goro. I seem to recall more than a few references to your empathetic nature and skillful approach to leading your troops. Let me guess, your troops are also the focus of your potion inquiry here today? Exactly! Commercial activity between Watsutsumi Island and other regions has been on the rise recently. The workload has increased so much, both the soldiers who work on our shipping convoys and the sailors who work on the merchant vessels are struggling to keep up. What would really come in handy would be a potion that could help them handle their intense workload. Like, one that could enhance their energy and physical strength. Okay, I could definitely use a potion like that as well. When I'm out on a long delivery, you wouldn't believe how tired my legs would get from trekking across all that rugged terrain. Not to mention the damage it does to my paws. My cutie should be more than familiar with that kind of potion by now. I'm sure they'll have it done in no time. Yep, leave it to us! Well, while you two hop to it, I'm gonna find an idle knight to deliver a letter to my little wolf cub and ask him to treat us to the pleasure of his company. <laughs> Once my cuties are done brewing a potion that satisfies your needs, we'll all celebrate over afternoon tea. <laughs> afternoon tea on the banks of Cider Lake! Oh, wonder what that'll be like. Oh, I can't wait to find out! <sighs> I'm just glad I finally found a way to help my troops. I thought I've told you this before, that if you want to pass through the forest undetected, you're going to want to wet your tails. Wet fur doesn't get snagged on branches and twigs as easily as dry fur. You'll be able to slip on by, and your enemies will be none the wiser. <sighs> Nuh-uh. That's not going to happen. I can't stand my tails wet. I'd be better off uh, tying them in a knot or something. Or, better yet, improving my fighting skills so that I don't have to sneak by them in the first place. Oh, you're here. How's the potion coming? Goro, Kirara, your potion is now ready. Why don't you give it a try? Wonderful. You two sure work fast. Hmm. Wow, 
My right shoulder was acting up from using my bow so much, but a few drops of your potion, and the pain is completely gone. The, the pain from walking on all that rough terrain. It's like it was never there. I thought you dealt in potions, not magic elixirs. With this in my arsenal, I bet I could deliver 200 orders in a single day. Looks like we've got another hit on our hands. Guess we can add the people of Watatsumi Island and the workers at Komania Express to our list of happy customers. Well, now that our work is out of the way, there's nothing standing between us and that afternoon tea we were promised. Oh, perfect! Lisa's here! I'm sorry to report, my little wolf cub appears to be busy. I sent someone to fetch him in Wolvendom, but he wasn't there. It's such a shame he's going to miss the opportunity to meet some fellow furry-aired companions. But I'm sure you'll have the chance to meet in the future. In fact, the next time I see him, I'll be sure to tell him about the two of you. It'll give him something to look forward to. Wow, you've placed quite the sizable order. Thank you for your patronage, my Inazuman friends. If feedback on the potion is favorable, I hope you'll consider re-upping your supply when the time comes. If making the journey proves too troublesome, we can always ship them to you. Of course! I have a feeling this super powerful alchemical craft of yours could be a game changer for the entire delivery industry! Absolutely! I'll be sure to collect detailed feedback from my troops. Anyway, we should head out. Until next time, Traveler in Paimon. Oh, and it was a pleasure meeting you, Miss Guardian Mage. Bye, Goro. Bye, Kirara. Hmm. The next time I'm in Mondstadt, I should make it an official visit. A formal meeting between Her Excellency and the Honorable Guardian Mage is sure to be a momentous occasion. Oh, seems like that made-up title really had an impression on him. It's given him all sorts of funny ideas. Wow, I have to hand it to you, cuties. I never imagined that you'd be able to bring in so much Mora in such a short amount of time. You're practically geniuses when it comes to business. <laughs> Always so humble. Although, with results this impressive, I would say you could stand to take a bit more credit. If I had your help all the time, I bet I could take double the amount of vacation without a care in the world. With all of your hard work up to this point, we've already collected enough sales data for our research. Thank you so much for all your help. Of course, if you're interested in continuing to run the shop, you'd make me a very happy Lisa. In either case, I should already have more than enough to report back to Jean with. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Jean! Oh, you're here. I wrapped up some business with my cuties and was just about to go report back to you at headquarters. No need. I already talked to some other knights, so I think I have a fairly good understanding of the situation. <laughs> Looks like you've troubled the Traveler to help you once again. <laughs> How could I not? When it comes to work as important as this, a smart and capable partner is simply a must-have, especially if we want good results. Look at the success of the shop. I could have never produced that kind of result on my own. Well, I do have to admit, your success is remarkable. I've been meaning to come see you for some time now, but work kept getting in the way and I simply couldn't find the time. Regardless, I just knew I had to come thank you in person. It's truly reassuring to have such outstanding members among our ranks. <sighs> Once this is all over, I do believe I'm due for a vacation. I've lost quite a few strands of hair to all the stress. Of course. Thank you for all your hard work. Seeing you cooped up in that library all the time, I was worried you might be bored. So I thought I'd give you an opportunity to truly make use of your talents. Perhaps I put too much on your plate at once. It wasn't that bad. 
After all, it's not like I was in it alone. All the help from the Knights and the Traveler really helped to lessen the load. Plus, it was fun to get back into research. It's nice to relive those days every once in a while. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you again for all your help, Traveler. Please take this as your compensation. Ah, speaking of compensation, I've also prepared a little memento for you. Here, I hope you like it. Public reception towards alchemical potions has been much more favorable than expected. If things continue like this, the potions industry could end up becoming a new revenue stream for the entire region of Mondstadt. We've got more than enough time to make big plans for the future. Right now, we should focus on the hard-earned success we've been able to achieve so far. How about we find a time to celebrate together? Ooh, a celebration? As long as there's yummy food, Paimon's in! Of course. Once I've made the preparations, you'll be the first to know. I'll even do you the honor of extending your invitation in person. <laughs> oh, that does sound nice. You certainly deserve to relax after all your hard work. Sucrose, you're here! Oh, is it time for the expert exam already? Our alchemy skills are improving so fast, Paimon can barely keep up! Your progress has been very impressive. In fact, according to the way Mr. Albedo designed the exams, passing the expert level would mean you're now qualified to mentor other people. We could start to teach other people? Then Paimon's totally going to start a class. Um, let's see. How much should Paimon charge per student? Well, all Paimon knows right now is that for homework, her students are going to have to use alchemy to make all sorts of tasty treats. <laughs> Paimon will be sure to give them lots of feedback. On their alchemy skills, of course. I'm sure this one will go just as well as the others. I'm ready to begin whenever you are. I'll be rooting for you. Potion a try. Yep, the effect looks good. The quality of your potion is quite high as well. Your talent in this discipline is truly remarkable. So, we passed? Can we teach alchemy now? What an amazing achievement, cuties. Oh, congratulations. Now is not the time to be humble. You mastered potion making in such a short amount of time. That's an impressive achievement, no matter how you look at it. Exactly. I was also really surprised at how quickly you picked it up. I thought it would have taken way more time. Anyway, thank you so much for your help. Your participation has allowed me to collect some very valuable data. With everything we've learned, we should be able to offer the official exam soon. This is sure to be a critical moment in the development of the alchemical potions industry. Paimon feels like she just took part in something super important! Of course! You two are practically pioneers! What you've been able to contribute to the field of alchemy is as impressive as a biologist discovering a new species. Anyway, I should probably head back and go over the data I've collected. Traveler, Paimon... Thanks again for your participation. If you have some free time, please stop by the lab. <laughs> 